going to have a one-on-one -on -one interview with the creative director behind Rainbow Six Vegas, Max Bilan. Max, can you tell us a little bit about your position and your interaction with Rainbow Six Vegas and what your job entails with that? Sure. Well, I'm the creative director, so it means that I'm in charge of the whole single player experience, right? So I'm working with every people on the team to make sure that players get the best experience possible in the game. Well, we, we decided to go to Unreal 3 because when we started the project, we wanted to start from the ground up. We really wanted to, to rejuvenate the brand and we decided, you know, we're going to start all over. That's why we changed engines, uh, we changed the team, you know, now it, it's not, Ding Shava is not in there anymore, Clark's not in there anymore, we've got a new team. So, you know, like just building from the ground up, taking what was great, what was amazing from Rainbow Six, bringing it to the next level, taking the little elements that we didn't like that much, removing them or changing them to make the game better. What we're adding though to, to Vegas is the take cover feature, where you press an older button and you, you hug the walls and you take cover, you use the environment for cover. And uh, that you, is, is used a bit like the peaking if you want. You know, so from there while you're, you're taking cover, you can come out, you can aim fire at the terrorists, at the enemies, so same thing in multiplayer. So that's kind of similar to the Ghost Recon, the way the Ghost Recon goes around. Yeah. So you're incorporating that. And I did notice when I was watching the little view that it not only seemed like a few Ghost Recon elements were brought into it, but a few Splinter Cell-ish elements if I seem to be right. Can you tell us a little bit more about the propelling thing I saw? Is it oh, you're, some you're elements? Right. You're, you're definitely right. Uh, when we started on the project, one of the things we did was we wanted to give the players the ability to do really cool stuff. You know, stuff that we used to put in our cinematics, but that we didn't put in the game. Right. You know, flying in the chopper, fast roping down, repelling on the side of a building, crashing through a window. We always did that in our cinematics, but never in the game. Now we were able to do it in real time in the game. Um, I know a lot of uh, fans out there at Rainbow have a lot of questions about the PC version. There hasn't been any information really released about it. Can you give them anything? Is the PC version being developed? And if so, are they going to have, what similarities are they going to have with the Xbox or the PlayStation version, etc.? I've been warned not to talk about it. The only thing I can say is we've got a team in Montreal working on a PC version. So we know we know the fans, we know what they want, and we've got a, a, a special team just for them to have a, a version that's customized really to give them what they want. Can you tell me anything about the multiplayer? Give these guys a, throw the dog a bone. Give us something. Well, you know, uh, on Rainbow Six 3, we were like number one played game for six months when we came out, and we definitely want to again win that, that crowd back. So uh, what we're doing, we've got, you know, new game modes and adversarial. Uh, we've got like co-op story mode, obviously. We've got split screen also that we're doing online and offline. So I think the gamers are going to be really happy. What, what can we look forward to with the AI taking advantage of the Xbox 360 system? Yeah. Like what, what things are we going to be looking forward to with the reaction with the um, artificial intelligence in the game? Yeah, well, one thing that, that we're doing now with the AI is we're doing a lot of motion capture. So the guys are going to look really realistic. When they're going to storm in a room, you know, open the door, break left, break right, you know, that's all mocap. So it looks really, really good. It looks really realistic. Uh, obviously, you know, uh, for the terrorist AI, you know, they're smarter. Now they work in teams, so they're going to be communicating. You know, one guy, you know, a terrorist leader is going to say, you guys flank left, so you're going you're to have to check your six. You're going to need to have your teammates protect your back if you want to go on one side or the other. So, Are you going to guarantee me then I'm going to walk by and a terrorist isn't going to look the other way and just walk off? I can't guarantee anything, but I'll uh, be very disappointed you see that. I've always been very happy with the AI and Ubisoft games. It's one of the things that really puts it forward. Um, otherwise, I just maybe, are you guys planning on or anticipating offering anything on the Xbox Live Marketplace, downloadable content for all the fans out there? Yes, of course. We're already planning downloadable stuff down the line once we're out. Well, you heard it here first, guys. We got a lot of new things coming. Rainbow Six Vegas coming out soon. Uh, and when is it coming out? That's a big question. At the end of the year. End of the year. Of course, that's all they'll give you. Sorry, baby. But you see this beautiful game behind us, all the elements that it's going to be offered. I know that I'm in. You better be in because this is going to be the next big FPS on the market.